Hi, my name is Natalie Bennett. I'm from K9 Commanders 4 H Cup, and today I'll be talking to you about rabbit hopping. So, how I got into rabbit hopping was when I went to a 4 H show. I saw people hopping many different breeds, and I thought it was cool that they um, found the time to train the, the, the different types of breeds, the non athletic rabbits and the athletic rabbits. Um, to jump over the jumps and so I tried it out with my home uh, and it didn't really work out with me because um, when I tried hopping her she just wanted to run around and eat grass and she wasn't willing to work um, with me so I decided to purchase a Rylander one of the fully arched breeds and I felt more comfortable with um, working with my Rylander you can I got the Rylander, you can also get a Checker Giant or an English Spot or a Tan, whatever you're comfortable with. And you might even be comfortable with a compact rabbit like a Mini Rex, a Mini Lop, and a Hollow Mops. And so now I'll talk to you about the general rules of rabbit hopping. The general rules about rabbit hopping is your rabbit has to be four months to do hopping. And your rabbit. Um, you must, um, if you were the one that signed up, put your name for to hop that rabbit, you have to hop it. You can't have any, anyone else hop your rabbit for you. And you must train your rabbit on your own. And the rabbit also has to be healthy. You can't have open wounds, injuries, or sore hocks that, or diseases that may um, affect them from hopping. Um, you can't mistreat your rabbit by um, pulling on its lead or forcing it to jump over jumps or yelling at it. And good sportsmanship, if you don't win, it's at least you're, it, uh, be happy for your rabbit if it's your first time at least they jumped over at least one jump. Um, hand, for you handlers, you have to wear appropriate, th like wear appropriate clothes for hopping your rabbit so you if your rabbit jumps over the jumps really fast, you need to be able to run or make sure you don't trip and like hurt the rabbit when you trip. So you need to have like sneakers or um, tennis shoes and like a shirt or jeans. Um, handle, you handlers can't jump over the jump with your rabbit. You have to walk alongside them. and. Um, and then when you are talking to your rabbit to encourage it, you ge use gentle touches and like use a happy voice and not a stressed and mad voice. And when you're, you, you only use your hands to touch them, not your feet. No like kicking them or pushing them with your feet to go, go over the dumps, only tickling the belly. And so now I'm going to talk to you about the layout of rabbit hopping and the points. So for you guys, begin you beginners out there, um, you will the jumps that you will be jumping over, your rabbit will be jumping over are six to there's going to be six to ten jumps. Those jumps will be four to ten inches tall, and the distance between the jumps will be four feet. You will get six faults allowed. What that means is if you knock over a pole or the rabbit doesn't jump over the jump, then you'll, um, if that does it more, if your rabbit does more than six times, then, um, you will have to, um, you will have to stop and try the other way around for your second time. And you will be timed on it too. And then you'll get six points for with two runs to move to the next level. For the intermediate, um, the intermediate people will have three minutes max, ten to twelve. Um, ten to, they'll have ten to twelve jumps, and their jumps will be sixteen to eight inches tall. And for um, they have their jumps will be four to six feet apart. And they'll have six faults as well. For advanced, they'll have 10 to 12 jumps. Six to eight, uh, their jumps will be 16 to eight inches tall. 
and they they're gentlemanly six um, feet between um, they'll be six feet apart and then they'll have um, they'll have six faults as well and so now I'm going to show you how to um, what the right harness is for your rabbit when you're hopping and the good ones and bad ones and why so I'll show you one of the bad ones first so this is a not very good um, harness because um, because when you are hopping your rabbit, they won't like the, there's so much um, fabric on the back that they won't be able to arch their back to jump, and they'll and it's not very adjustable for a rabbit um, for a rabbit that is like a different size rabbit if you're gonna hop many different rabbits at once. Um, you will probably need to adjust it for their size, and so this is like for only for like when you're going on a, like a walk with your rabbit around your house and you just want to take it out. Okay, and now I'll show you the next one. I'll show you the next one that's not a very good. Um, harness for rabbit hopping is the one on the left. This one is not a very good harness, and I'll show you why. So the rabbit's two feet go in here. So the first feet goes right there, and the second foot goes right here, and you clip it at the top. like this. Well, this is not a very good harness, is it's not adjustable, like the first one I showed you. And it has this strap right here that might, the rabbit might, when it's jumping, it might get caught in the strap, or it might slip out. And th why that's bad is because if it can't, if it has this foot stuck, it won't be able to jump smoothly, and it might trip and get hurt. And then, now I'll show you the H collar. And why it's called an H collar and uh, harness is because it's shaped like an H. Like this. So, first you take it apart like this. And you have the long side where, uh, the long part and the short part. The short part goes around the neck, and this long part goes around the body. So you want to line it like this on the back, and um, make sure it's not all tangled. And you get this. The you probably want to put the the harness around the belly first. So if your rabbit's like moving around because it's scared, you will have more control. See, I'm making it's not all twisted it up for when the rabbit goes to jump, because then it might um, get hurt if it it's all twisted up and tangled around the rabbit. And see, it has it like this around the back side, and then you clip the um, you clip the leash onto here, and then this is what it looks like underneath. And so. Now that I showed you the general rules and the layout, I'll now talk to you and de demonstrate how to jump the rabbit. Okay, this is Alex. He's the rabbit I'm going to demonstrate. And he's been doing this for a long time. And so when I show you this, it's n not definitely not his first time. So he's five years old. He's been doing this for four and a half years. Um, my sister trained him, and so I'm going to show you how to put the harness on him like I did on the stuffed animal. So you're going to line it up like this, and then put it around his belly, lift him up a little bit. It's okay, buddy. And put, snap it in like that. And then around his neck. 
And then you're going to make sure it's not too loose and nice and snug or not too tight so that it, they don't hurt either, so. And then um, you clip it on, they clip the leaves on like this. Now I'm going to show you how to hold the Some rabbits that like to be held in the football hole, and which is where you have their head in their, your armpit and then your arms around their butt. But he doesn't like being held like this, he likes being held like this. So like, and then like you cover his eyes so he's calm. And then put him, when he gets put down, he knows he can jump um, over the jumps. And when you, before you put the rabbit down, you want to make sure the judge gives you the okay to put the rabbit down. And so, they'll, you'll be like time, timed on it too. And when you go to, so like what I was saying before, you you give him like encouraging and like tap his butt or his belly. And so now I'm going to show you on, on the jumps. And make sure your leash is not tangled up around it, so it's like really that before you go up. And then you put him down like this. And there he goes. And, and you want to make sure they don't run off the course. Oh, he's okay. You want to make sure they don't run off the course when you're hopping them. And you'll go, you can go both ways. They're like, good boy. And they're like, you like, you want to also stay behind the rabbit, no going in front of it, otherwise it will run the other way and knock over the other jumps. It's okay. And now I'm going to show you how I do it with a rabbit that hasn't been, been doing it for as long as Alex. Okay, this is Felicia. She um, has never done hopping before and she's never been put on a harness. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And as you see over there, there, I put them all on one jump because she has, since she has never done this before, she could get hurt if I put on more, like Alex. But uh, I also put the wood there, in the wood there to weigh the, um, weigh the jumps down so that they don't fall and scare the rabbits. And the mats for um, training them that when they see a mat, that's when they have to jump, and so that the when they, because if you don't have the mats there. And they they're jumping without a mat. That that's training them to like jump where the grass is, and there's grass everywhere. And so, um, you have to make it fun for them when you're training them, and encourage them. Don't get mad at them. Um, so we'll see how she does when we put the harness on her. She's doing pretty good right now. Make sure it's not all tangled up. And now I see she's like a little bigger than Alex, so I have to adjust it. So they clip my mouth. And then around the neck. It's okay, girl. Not too tight. And then clip the leash on. See how I was gentle and careful with her and saying it was okay? So that she doesn't get, um, worried. And so, now we have to figure out which way she likes to be held. And... I th she probably likes the same way as Alex. Comfort her and then take her over. We have to put, now we have to figure out what side of the jump that she likes to jump on. It's okay. Good girl, see? It's okay. Good girl. I know. Make sure it doesn't get hooked around. Good 
good girl. She's doing pretty good for her first time. She still needs to be trained not to jump outside of the outside of the mat. It's okay. See, they might stop like this, but it's because they don't understand what they're doing. And then we'll try the other way now and see how she does. She did pretty good because she didn't knock any of them down. Make sure it's not tangled around. You have your leash ready. And then when you put them down. Oh, she knocked over it. But it's okay. Good girl. Good girl. See, she did pretty good for the second round. Now she understands. And then she did. And when you're in a show, I won't do it for her because she's kind of frustrated right now. But when. You see how she went more smoothly through the second time I did? So you'll be able to pick the way your rabbit likes. Because you will it'll go three times and you, you get to pick the side your rabbit liked the most. So you do both the sides for the first and second time and then you pick her favorite side. And then, so, all your, um, when you're training your rabbit, you want to do this a couple times, but not too much when it's like hot out. Make sure to give them lots of water, and so they're not like all stressed and frustrated. And that's pretty much it on how you to how to train your rabbit to hop over the jumps and how um, what the rules are for the jumps. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.